Hi guys, Mikko here, Team Rapala Angler. We got a lot of questions about which leaders we use for pike fishing. And I'm about to show you guys what I personally use and how, how I manufacture them. So the one I'm using is uh, Suffix in Whistleline, 1.17 millimeter. This will hold for any pike. And what I do is that I create this about 80 centimeters long. Floor carbon is a hard material. Once you melt it with a lighter, and it cools down, it gets very hard again. So I start by melting a drop, like this. You see it creates a drop, and I put it against a flat surface. What I now created is a head of a nail, which will actually stop the knot from the main line. So now I will just trim all the sharp edges, just using a pair of scissors like this. So now I created the stop here. I will go to the other end where we're actually gonna attach the lure. And for that I use uh, VMC swivels and split rings. And I pre-made one here. You just connect them together. And the knot I'm using is very simple. Just go through once, as you can see, around the floor carbon, two times, like this, and back in there. Then we tighten the knot. Like this, and we use a pair of pliers. So we can use a lot of tension when we, because you want this to be super, super tight. So now, now it's not going anywhere, but to be extra, extra secure, I cut off that, piece there and I leave about five millimeters. I take the lighter again and I melt a stop here also. If the knot is starting to loose up it will stop. So the leader is now done. Instead of a lock that might open if you're unlucky we use a split ring and a swivel and it's time to just attach it to the main line. So the knot I use to attach the main line is just a simple uni knot, a single uni knot. You fold it twice, creating a loop. You put the put leader against the braided line, which is the suffix 131 in this case. And I go inside the loop around eight to 10 times. So now I went through this inside loop eight times and I tighten the knot like this. So this knot will now glide up against the stop and we pull it really tight. Get rid of this piece here. And now we're done. The idea with this leader is that there is no unnecessary weight here, no swivel, because if you add a swivel, you have an extra gram or two there. When you make a stop with your lure, the leader is gonna sink. But this one is not, because it's directly attached to the main line. And we have a super secure leader that will never open when fighting a big fish, because instead of a lock, you use a split ring. So when we change the lure, it's super easy. Take a pair of split ring pliers. I use the RCD mags from Rapala. Easy to use with one hand because of the magnetic function there. Just open the split ring, put on the lure. Now it's done. And uh, why do I prefer to use a floor carbon? It's less visible. There is some slight, slight st stretch to it using stiff rods and uh, braided line nowadays. After every fish, you just inspect your floor carbon leader, there is no deep teeth marks. And if they are, you just shorten the, the damaged part and retie the thing. That's why we made it so long from the beginning, so you can retie it a few times. And don't use too short leaders because, of course, the pike will not swallow the entire lure and a long leader, but mo many times they grab the lure and they make these crocodile spins, and suddenly you have the main line in the mouth. But not if you're using very, very long leaders. So this is my tip of the day. Try it out. Suffix in line with VMC split rings and uh, swivels.